Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. We're about to get back out into the field for more of uh, Chapter 4. First, since we picked up the Arrow Legion last time, we probably shouldn't be going out into the field with nothing to show for the Arrow Legion. Uh, and you can see its sphere grid is pretty extensive. So we're going to start off, of course, with the sync attacks, and then a little skill for it, the air shot, which is a nice volley that we can activate whenever we please. That'll, that'll be sufficient for now. And of course, we'll pick up more as we go along. And we're going to need it for this mission. Things are going to pick up pretty heavily. First, we'll grab this, and anything else? Nope. Actually, you know what? Let's talk to Alicia. But waste time moping, Miss Allen, something important to me. What about Tabuchi? Yep, really horny for the bikes, which we're gonna ride into town. It's been. what? 10 or so episodes since we rode one of these? In the, in the prologue of the game. Unfortunately, we're not going to be doing any more riding beyond this for the time being. We, we wrote it right into a loading screen. And then once we get into the city, we'll be greeted with some really pretty sights and a much more open level. With a lot more going on in it, too. Do you read me? The others have already started investigating. You've been assigned to ask around the skywalk over the central intersection. Follow your map there. So this chapter has a lot to do with properly introducing Jenna, who we learned a little bit about last time. Uh, I'm not sure if I said this before, but when her character designer first showed her to his wife, she told him that she looked like a zombie, so they had to tone it back a bunch. I am with the Harmony Square Precinct, and my name is... Oh, it doesn't matter. There's no time for such formalities. I am tailing a man who I assure you is engaged in heinous anti-union activity, even as we speak. I followed him here, but I seem to have lost sight of him. You will? Oh, what luck. Together, we'll find him in no time. The man I am following is wearing an orange jacket and a black hat. I'm sure of it. He was on foot, and what's more, I saw him fall and hurt his leg. He cannot have gone far. I'll continue looking over there, if you'll be so kind as to search this area for a man with that description. You can tell it's a fictional far future because the cop cares more, uh, cares about a union that isn't just the police union. Also, he is the worst fucking cop ever. There are two suspects within a few feet of him. This, uh, skeptical woman doesn't quite fit the description aside from the orange jacket. Uh, she does have something for us, though. And it's that she thinks there's a haunted dumpster nearby. So she's gone far out of her way to dump her trash in this non-haunted dumpster. We're gonna clean up a little bit. Love all the graffiti here. Like, it's already a bright, vivid, colorful world, and that just adds so much character to the environment. Uh, now, as for this other suspect, he was literally right there! What are you looking at? Uh, talk about adding insult to injury. All I'm doing is waiting for a friend. Got that? Now we get to LARP as Cole Phelps. Uh, uh, Alright. Fine. You got me. Not like I can run anymore anyway. Your number is up. Come along quietly, or else I shall... Yeah, yeah, I know. I told your friend here already. You got me, alright? You know what, though? I'm glad you guys caught me. Lucky. The way things are heading, 
I'm a dead man out on my own. They don't take too kindly to failure. They? Who are they? Who pulls your strings? Talk! Uh, I've said too much already. So you're gonna take me to jail, or what? Uh, yes, but... Look, you seem like a decent cop. Quit while you're ahead. Trust me. No way. I'm not saying one more word. For all I know, they're already on their way. You guys should watch your backs, too. Well, that's one more near-do-well off the streets. I could not have done it without you. You have my utmost gratitude. But now I can't stop wondering about this ominous thing. What? Yes? I see. I understand. It would appear that the car taking our suspect back to the station has been attacked. Destroyed, rather. Utterly from the sound of it. <gasps> Could this be... They? It is settled, then. I must unravel this mystery. I fear I now go down a path you cannot follow, my friend. Go with my thanks. Perhaps one day I can return the favor. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a they to expose. You should be able to turn that Cole Phelps knob up a little bit more. Like, scream in their faces that they're guilty. And when they're not, just be like, oh, you gotta shake the branches, see what falls out. And then you throw them off of a rooftop. I love that so much. It will be with me in my heart forever. <laughs> now we have a few more side things to do. Uh, before we move along, uh, let's cure this guy of his redshift. Bum, bum, bum. It's been a minute since I played, by the way. I actually got to take a nice long break from having to uh, record anything or do any in-depth editing uh, while I uploaded Halloween highlights. It was, it was really nice. It was a, uh, kind of refreshing. We've got an emergency on our hands. We just received an anonymous tip saying there's a bomb hidden somewhere in Harmony Square. They didn't say where the bomb was, just that it's armed and ready to explode. You've got to find it before that happens. We've worked out the general area where the bomb's most likely to be. I'll send it to your map, so get hunting. It'll be fine. Also, a bomb dead center in the middle of a heavily populated metropolitan area is a side quest. It's a minor objective. It's a go take care of this if you have the time, but if not, no biggie. It'll sort itself out. But again, it'll be fine. It'll be fine! We're just gonna go up here, <laughs> up here and clear some stuff out. Uh, and find out that the bomb is right on top of us. And could potentially be hazardous to the health and safety of people who are near it. <laughs> uh, so it's right across the way. We can't go up any further because this impenetrable wall of two feet high trash bags is blocking us off. There, it's just like Dark Souls 2, actually. Is that really what bombs look like? It looks like a kid made it. Anyway, we need you to defuse the bomb. I'm handing you over to our explosives expert. Ted? First off, relax. If it goes boom, I'm the guy you want to talk to. Now, let's see what we're working with. Yeah, I'd say that's more than enough to bring down the nearest three, maybe four buildings. And what's this? An antenna? Let me check something. Take a look around with your iris, would you? Iris started. Aha! I knew it! Iris, shut down. Oh, clever, clever. I haven't seen a bomb this tricky in a while. This should be interesting. 
Those signals getting beamed into the bomb itself? They work like a password to defuse it. Disrupt those signals in the correct order, the timer stops, and you save the day. But get the order wrong, and... Well... Kaboom! Uh, we're running low on time. I guess we better get started. Now listen closely. I'll tell you the order to cut off the signals. It's up to you and the Legion to do the cutting. Deep breath. It's... So there are First, numerous overlapping signals, signals in some places. Some of them are actually kind of hard to see. So the trick to this is not identifying so hard, the right? lines, it's Next making sure that you don't green. cut to it once by accident. So you have to do three. There's green. Now we've done the first two correctly. Let's see what happens if we maybe cut the wrong one. No, no, no! Wait, I don't see any signs of explosion around the bomb's location. Oh, come on, it was just a prank? I mean, you know, it's good that there wasn't any actual danger, of course. Nice work. The bomb squad are on their way to clear the area, just in case. All right, get back to your investigation. They just a prank, bruh, did the bomb squad, which typically the police do not take well. Uh, so future SWAT is going to show up at somebody's door and fucking murder them. Which is pretty true to life. Actually, that tends to happen even if you did absolutely nothing wrong. Mm, but we're not going to get into that today. Mm -hmm. Instead, we're going to talk more about Legion design. Oh, God. Uh, as a lot of you know, the designer of the Legions is really popular in Japan. Oh, also the crosswalks. Yeah, you can't jaywalk. Jaywalking is a forbidden art. You're a cop. You have to uphold the law and follow the crosswalks and recycle. <laughs> that's what the cans are. Well, that's one of the functions for the cans, I should say. We'll see another uh, actually later in the mission, later in this episode, most likely. So the designer of the legions is Masakazu Katsura. Uh, even if you don't, even if even if you did not know that I that is who designed the, the legions, from the security cameras to damn you, Lagatis. Olive. That should be useful in your investigation. Find us some good info. This is really what you interrupted me to say is get good information. Fuck you, Olive. Um, yeah, Masakazu Katsura. And even if you didn't know that he, that they were the person who designed the legions. You probably got that sense if you're familiar with his work on Zetman, which is a cyberpunk-ish superhero manga. Uh, the Legions are very reminiscent of that style. And the through line of the Legions' designs was the... Okay, so we have ghostly armor and a woman in white. Also, it wasn't highlighted, but go like a ghostly red portal in an abandoned mall. Uh, but anyway, the through line of the Legion's design this was this concept of heroism. Uh, in virtually every interview or developer diary or blog post on Platinum's site, uh, it, it's the word that comes up most often. Heroic. Throughout tons and tons of iterations of these Legion's designs, what they kept coming back to was they had to look like heroes. Uh, and there was this idea that the legions weren't just animals, but they were your partner. They were your cop partner, so they had to be heroic. Uh, we'll get back to the lost cat momentarily. We're actually going to do quite a few side things, but first we're just going to take care of as, as much actual investigating for the uh, critical path as we can before we have to start doing that. Although you can uh, get a lot of tips for the critical path just by doing these optional blue objectives. Uh, like, once you find the burger joint that this guy wants to get to, I think he'll give you a little bit of information 
like a quarter of what you need to know. This fanboy will help you out, but he doesn't quite believe that the person pictured in the hologram is Jenna Anderson. He thinks it's an idol named Sierra, and he is a fucking weirdo. He is one of those weirdos obsessed with idols that creep me out. And, upon hearing that they're a wanted fugitive, attacks you and has to be... Uh, he, ha he has to catch these cop hands. So anyway, the idea was the legions had to be heroic, above all. And speaking of the legions, uh, this is something that I see coming up in the comments a few times. This is more to do with the gameplay, but I've read anecdotes of people saying that uh, the reason why you wash the legions off is because being dirty will slow the legions down and that the legions will attack less often. And the text of the game is a little bit more vague about it, but it does say that being too dirty does compromise their behavior and their mobility. So there is a pretty good reason why you should be washing them off between missions when you're back at Neuron HQ. You got a bunch of punks down here. And again, we are just going to have to beat the shit out of some regular humans with our MDK animal partners. I had the wrong one out. There we go. That's the one I wanted. I don't know when I switched to the Arrow Legion by accident. Either way, good to get some use out of it. Oops. I actually don't know where the fire came from. But it straight up interrupted me. Oh, he's throwing Molotovs. That's why. And he can super armor through that. Woo, that sucked. That was really, really bad. I am going to Johns the shit out of that and just say that it's rust. <laughs> Spectacular. And for cracking their skulls, the hint that we get for the investigation is the one about the Ark Mall. But it was grayed out because we had already heard about the mall from somebody else. So we still only have three out of the four clues that we need to proceed. And you can see already the way they're opening the design up. They're opening the levels up, and they're making the progression of how you get clues less linear as well. And they're allowing you to gather clues in any order. Uh, and giving you multiple sources to get said clues. Like, we could have gotten that thing about the Ark Mall from a, any number of people. And there are a few others we could have gone to as well. This is where you want to be, man. Sir. Sir, don't you want your burger in your mouth, sir? Don't you want this burger? Don't you want a burger in your tum-tums? Get in the burger restaurant, Shinji. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Easily Lost Shinji. Okay, past these strange tentacles, dozens of them, all wiggly. They freaked me out, and I got so scared that I got temporary amnesia and forgot where You're the burger great. joint was. We just need a little more intel. I marked your next destination on your map. Hey, you ever watch any of those old cop shows from the 20th century? They used to call this walking the beef. <laughs> hilarious. Why is that hilarious? What is the punchline? Can you please expound upon this? Oh my god, it's not funny! Shut up! <laughs> oh love, why are you like this? Oh man, what a weird mission. Uh, so we have one more thing to do before we proceed back to the crosswalk. Where the marker is taking us. Uh, we have to find this cat. Or rather, we have to uh, rescue the cat. We know where it is. It's right here. And we were also given the hint that we could sneak up behind it if we distract it with the sound of a rattling can. So we'll grab this. They just give it to you as a freebie in case you didn't keep any others before recycling them. Pull it up in the radial, throw it, and... Now this skittish cat won't run away when we sneak up on it to rescue it. Great! We are going to rescue so many kitties. So, so many kitty cats. And for doing that, we get the hint about the strange tentacles again. It's fine. We also get some money. 
we also progress uh, some orders. So it's all well and good. Also, I think there's an order for recycling on top of the 50 or so doubloons. Because I know somebody out there is going to be like, Oh, you're calling them dollars? Because I call every fictional uh, unit of currency dollars. We have visual confirmation of the suspect at the Central Harmony Square intersection. Jenna Anderson, hold her right there. You're under arrest for the attack on the ARI. You heard that, right? They found Jenna. Get over there. Hurry. I'm in a very good, refreshed mood today. Again, I'm really happy that I got to take kind of a mini vacation almost. I wasn't getting quite burnt out, but you can probably see that on the horizon. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell, and share the videos, and do all that good stuff, and whatever else would help out. <laughs> take it easy. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs>